Carrie Matthews, Elizabeth Smith, and Kimberly Scott. With special guest Amy Jackson. Good morning, America. This is Kimberly Scott here reporting to you from tomorrow's news today. It is a beautiful morning here on April 18th, 1961. And we have discovered new information between the CIA and Cuba. Yesterday, April 17th, the CIA launched a full-scale invasion of Cuba by 1,400 American-trained Cubans known as the Bay of Pigs invasion. Our very own Elizabeth Smith is reporting from Cuba right now to speak to a Cuban-American troop. Let's go to her live. Elizabeth? American troop, Benita Rodriguez. Can you tell us the overall plan But when you invaded Cuba? Our plan was to destroy the Cuban Air Forces. We went in on the 15th with B-26 bombers. Unfortunately, Fidel Castro knew our plan and fled the Air Force field. I understand that you and the troops are American trained, but you're Cubans. Can you tell us the reason for fleeing your homeland? Um, we, as the people, didn't like Castro and we felt he couldn't be trusted and we weren't getting what we needed with him. I see. Thank you for talking to us, Mrs. Rodriguez. Now, we'll get back to you with more on the Cuban invasion after this commercial break. Imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the twilight. Coming to television all across America, the newest science fiction television, Twilight Zone, by Kuaga Productions, coming October 2nd. Hello America, it's Kimberly Scott here reporting to you from tomorrow's news today. If you have been watching and paying attention this morning, we've been talking about the Cuban invasion and we're going to continue to talk about it with more information. So in Cuba is the capital, Havana, which is more so towards the left of Cuba. Now as you look at the map, you can see Havana is located to the left end of Cuba. And this place is very important because that's where Castro originally invaded and began to take over a few years back. During this invasion, the Cuban-American troops invaded this little indentation here known as the Bay of Pigs. It has been stated that 114 people were killed and 1,100 were imprisoned. Now, back to Elizabeth with more effects of the invasion. Wait, I have more questions for you! Kimberly, now that we have basic information on the Bay of Pigs invasion, can you tell us how this is going to change you and the Soviet Union's relationship? Because there was a strong relationship between the Soviet Union and Cuba, I think it's going to make our relationship more tense. And how do you think the relationships are going to go from here? I think the invasion is going to make things more tense. We definitely won't be turning our backs to the Soviet Union anytime soon. Thanks, Benita. Now it's time for today's trivia with our very own Terry Matthews. <laughs> Nearly every single day singing. Who is this year's Time Magazine Man of the Year? The answer is John F. Kennedy. Back to you, Kimberly. Hello America, it's Kimberly Scott here reporting to you still from tomorrow's news today. 
And we decided we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So all morning we have been talking about Cuba and the Cuban invasion and everything that's going on with that. So we're just going to give you a little bit of insight and some information on the weather. I thought it would be a little fun segment to do. So we're, And who wouldn't want to know if it's sunny, if it's snowing, if it's raining, if it's cloudy. We just want to know and how it could be different from how it is right now in America. So let's head to Amy with that right now. Thanks, Kimberly. Hi, I'm Amy. As you can see, this is our weather forecast for the week. Sunday, 72, partly cloudy. Luckily on Monday, those clouds move on out and we're looking at 77 and a beautiful day. Looks to be the same on Tuesday. Also 77, no clouds should be in sight. Wednesday, 80 degrees, clear as a bell. Thursday, 79 degrees, beautiful, no clouds. As you can see, the clouds do move in on Friday. It's partly cloudy, 73 degrees. And Saturday, back to beautiful sunny weather at 75 and no clouds. Back to you, Kimberly. Tune into our radio station tonight at 8 p.m. on 87.6 and catch us tomorrow and every other day at 7 a.m. right here, Tomorrow's News Today. See you tomorrow.